Welcome to the Bleeding Control Shock Management Skill Station. This skill is designed to evaluate your ability to control hemorrhage. This is a scenario-based evaluation, and as you progress through the scenario, you will be given various signs and symptoms appropriate for the simulated patient's condition. You will be required to manage the simulated patient based on these signs and symptoms, and you may use any of the supplies and equipment available in this room. You have 10 minutes to complete this skill. Please take a few moments and familiarize yourself with the equipment before we begin. Do you have any questions? I do not. You respond to a stabbing to find a 28-year-old female patient. Upon examination, you find a two-inch stab wound to the inside of the right arm at the antecubital fossa. Bright red blood is spurting from the wound. The scene is safe and the patient is responsive and alert. Her airway is open and she is breathing adequately. Do you have any questions? I do not. BSIP, my scene is safe. See that I have a bleeding, bleeding patient. I'm gonna apply direct pressure to the wound. The wound continues to bleed. I'm gonna have my patient hold direct pressure where I am. Can you hold on there for me? And I'm gonna get a tourniquet. Place a tourniquet on the patient. The patient is exhibiting signs and symptoms of hypoperfusion. Okay, I'm going to place my patient on the ground in shock position. Now I'm going to place uh, high flow oxygen, high concentration oxygen on my patient. Place a blanket on the patient as well. And I would also like to have immediate transport for my patient.